first and foremost, um, every command should have a diversity committee. Uh, some may call it a multicultural committee. Uh, and what it is is about diversity and inclusion. And, you know, my favorite website, www.npc.navy.mil and 21st Century Sailor, you know, my you know, one-stop shopping, um, and that's where you can find the diversity link. The other site that I urge sailors to look at, and of course our diversity teams and our simios are already aware of that, and that's the DOMI website. On there, the link that says Special Observances, uh, when you click on that, that's your one-stop shopping on how to find what observances are uh, being held that month. And there's a great guide on there, the Guidance for Organizing Observances. That's the, um, you know, the main publication for our diversity teams. And it's a guide for a chain of command to look at as well um, for some checklist items, you know, and some recommendations for other groups, affinity groups that are uh, recognized and tied with that observance. So the guidance for organizing observances is really the best checklist that our diversity groups will use and go in there and, um, you know, a line by line how to put these observances together. But first and foremost, you know, what I want to talk about before we actually do this observance is why. So why do we have observances, remembrances, recognitions, celebrations? Well, as I said at the opening of the show, it's about diversity and, and what we have to bring to the table as individual sailors from our diverse backgrounds. And so we educate, we train, we learn from. And today we're talking about you know, diversity observances under the, you know, equal opportunity. Um, but diversity also means, you know, our uh, background as our ratings, as our sailors or our communities. Aviation, surface, Navy medicine, submarine, special forces, CBs. What makes a great observance month uh, and an event? Well, um, first and foremost, take strong command support. So for those that are in command roles out there, you know, strong command support is imperative. Um, quality leadership, um, you know, as the project officers or the, the planners in uh, getting the, the, you know, the different uh, teams together, very important. Planning, 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 and using the resources from the DOMI side or the affinity groups that they recommend or that they, um, they show on the site. Uh, sometimes funding, appropriate funding, so um, each uh, committees will do some fundraising. Um, commands have certain capabilities with other funding supports, whether it's theater and lighting and so forth on the commands. Um, and then you can talk with the chaplain's office, do some local newspaper uh, posting. Your equal opportunity office is definitely critical. Um, and the JAG, just for some legalities when you're in certain areas on bases and when you want to invite um, local citizens to come onto the base and do that kind of stuff, it's important that you shoot some of that stuff through your JAG. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.